What's up guys? So we got a new train unit here. Um, recently installed. We're gonna do a little more wiring on this guy. Uh, I gotta wire in my smoke detector and uh, comparative enthalpy sensors. So first of all, we're gonna take our e-stop terminal off. This is where my smoke detector is gonna wire. You gotta take your brass bar out. So that just jumps it. Basically, we feed power into this side and jump it over to the outlet power right here. And that feeds all my low voltage controls. So we'll pick up a common and power from here. And normally closed contact, we'll have to rewire because they're on a normally open contact, number 17. Uh, six is my common. You can see it's jumped out with my red power. And we're gonna go to this normally closed number 16 and wire our smoke detector here. The old ones had uh, Romex plugs and plugged into the controls. I'm not sure exactly how they were wired. I mean, just here after the fact. And then we gotta power our economizer control and get all of our enthalpy sensors installed. First we gotta get us some three wire. That ought to be good. Now the new kit does come with a uh, new economizer control. Um, if you don't have all of your terminals here for outdoor air humidity and temperature and all that, you have to swap the control out. Uh, it's just one screw in the center, pretty simple. But we've got all of our uh, terminals, so we don't need to do that. Uh, humidity sensors. This is gonna be our outdoor humidity. Red goes to positive. Violet goes to negative. And that's gonna mount outside on the for the outdoor air humidity. And we got a nice wire harness for our returner temp and humidity. So that's gonna route right through this little hole. Make sure we get our terminals good and tight. And there are pre-drilled holes. I don't know how well you can see over there, but I'll let that hang there for right now. We'll tighten it all back up. Our return air temp sensor. And it's got a spot right above the grommet for the wires. Slides right through there for temp. And then you can't really screw this up. You got two terminals, male and female connectors. Plug those on. And then we're gonna take red and violet is humidity. We're going to go to Humidity and RAT return our temp. That sensor's got a screw hole on there too. That's going to be OAH outdoor air. And then we do have never plugged in but got our 24 volt power and this is mixed air mixed air M18 mixed air team so that one's gonna go there and then we will have to 
they come with uh, mixed air temp sensors in the cabinet here, so we're going to have to wire that in as well. wire tile all of these we do just want to leave a little slack so when it goes to close you're not tugging on those wires it's our outdoor air humidity and it's gonna mount just like that you see our holes pre-drilled there so we'll get that secured and move around to the smoke so this is our mixed air sensor um, same type as the return air, it's just a 10K sensor. And you can see on top, there's a little grommet back here. It slides right into, and then you just gotta find your spade terminals up here. Should be the only two wires there open. And again, male and female connections. We'll get those connected. side of our e-stop. Green is our alarm contact. That's going to be the outgoing side of our e-stop to power our control. So again, back to our smoke. We'll test it in a minute. You've got to remove your jumper from your e-stop terminals. There's only one wire connected to it, that red wire, and that feeds power back over here to our phase monitor and all that. So we got 24 volts jumped out to here, feeding power to our smoke detector. Catch our common power right here on the common terminal block. And then anytime, as long as that contact's closed, we're gonna feed to here and be normal operation. That contact opens. here on our 16 normally closed that opens it kills power to everything shuts everything down pretty simple uh, most all of your smoke detectors have uh, other contacts as well so if one contact fails or you have an issue with it you can always jump over to uh, the 18 and 8 would be a, again a common and a normally closed so normal operation that's closed we'll get our cover back on and get this thing tested out and tighten our terminals back up. You can see phase monitor's got a green light. So bring across my e-stop, I'm reading no voltage. So that means I've got a closed contact. If I were to go to either side to common or ground, you can see I've got 26 volts. There's the other side, 26 volts. So that's a closed contact. This smoke detector looks like hold the test. Here we got a magnet test there. I just happen to have a magnet. smoke detector doesn't want to test. So we 
We've got no LEDs. I got 24 volt power, so we're gonna need a new smoke detector. This one's not working. Um, this is what it should look like. Of course, the old smoke detector's still good, but again, we're showing a closed contact. It's my e stop. No voltage. See our red light went on, so we just tripped it. See our phase monitor light went out. And there is my 25 volts. It's an open contact now. So this one works. Reset. And then get power back to the phase monitor. So that one there's good. This one here's good. This one's gonna have to go. So I'm gonna work on getting a smoke detector. Uh, all my enthalpy controls are in on all three. We're just gonna do some cleanup. So I thought this might help some guys. Just a quick, simple video. Let me know what y'all think. Hit that thumb. Leave me a comment. See you guys on the next one.